Welcome to Construct Tech TV. On today's tech update, I'm going to be tackling the top trends for your job site. I'm going to be addressing how to become a drone pilot, bots as workplace assistants, achieving net zero energy, inspiring the next generation, and telematics as coaches for drivers. First up, are you interested in becoming a drone pilot? Here's what must be done to become a pilot. Be at least 16 years old. You need to read, speak, write, and understand English. Be the proper physical and mental condition to safely operate a drone. And perhaps most interestingly, pass the initial aeronautical exam from the FAA. You can schedule an appointment at the FAA testing center. And once you receive a certificate, it is valid for two years. So what exactly is in this exam? You must know the regulations in airspace, classifications, and operating requirements. Be aware of aviation weather sources, emergency procedures, and radio communication procedures. You will need to know all about small unmanned aircraft loading and performance. Also, make sure you know maintenance and pre-flight inspection procedures. So if you are interested in flying a drone, that is a good place to start. But also, I see another trend that's really emerging. AR and VR could help you hone your drone piloting skills. Drone simulators are now available that might just assist you as you learn to fly in a virtual environment. So how cool is that? Perhaps that is just another way to help you become a better pilot. Do you need an assistant? Consider letting virtual assistants take the reins. This trend is picking up at a very rapid pace. We all know Alexa and Cortana, and we are all beginning to interact with them both in our home and in the office. But can these helpful tools take a different turn in the future? If my usage is any indication, we all might be hanging out with Alexa or something just like her in the very near future. In fact, construction job sites might be turning to artificial intelligence and even robots in the not so distant future. Consider, for example, Fur Hats Robotics. This company recently raised $2.5 million in funding. With these robots, they mimic human personality, gesture, and intonation. It uses computer animation and projection to create an impression. Its brain is built on social intelligence platform. The company's mission? To create a new interface between humans and technology. Can you envision working side by side with a human looking like robot serving as your next workplace assistant? It might be coming very soon. Net zero energy is beginning to become a reality. This is producing as much energy as is used over the course of a year, and naturally, it is a tough feat to pull off. There are still only a small number of buildings that meet this criteria. But the good news is research, technology, and renewable energy systems are beginning to make it more feasible. These types of buildings and homes often combine a good design and renewable energy systems. Let's take a look at just one recent example. Colorado College recently completed a library renovation and achieved net zero construction. Beneath the quad is a geothermal energy field with 80 wells. This function as a heat exchanger for the reversible geothermal heat pump. Also, a rooftop solar array powers part of the project. This is only one example, as I just said, but I believe we will see many more in the very near future, especially since all federal buildings are mandated to achieve net zero energy by 2030, which means those entering the planning process now are often considering it. Are you? November 8th is National STEM Day. It is designed to inspire kids to explore science, technology, engineering, and math. And it is an important lesson to all of us. We all need to work together to inspire the next generation of leaders. This is also critically important in construction. We all know there is a big worker shortage. We need more young, innovative workers in this industry. I have reviewed a number of studies from FMI, NAHB, and other organizations 
that are showing the construction industry just isn't cutting it for millennials and the next generation. But the good news is that the construction industry can reverse this trend by understanding what younger workers want out of employers. First, recognize that younger workers are tech savvy and highly collaborative. This can boost the industry and this is exactly what construction needs. So what can you offer millennials to entice them? Flexible work schedules and career advancement opportunities. Listen to their ideas. They want flexibility in what they are given and to control their work schedules. They need constant feedback, lots of communication. The old way of annual reviews isn't going to cut it anymore. They like constant coaching and, as I said, feedback. If you want to attract the best, then it's time to think like the best. Are you ready to attract the next younger generation? Who is coaching your drivers? Perhaps there's an opportunity to let telematics be the backseat driver. The data gathered from many of these systems can help with training your employees. It can score driver behavior and give the necessary feedback. It can also identify at-risk drivers and provide predictive modeling. We see one new example come from a company called Mentor by eDriving. This can certainly be a big opportunity for construction. This new tool integrates data universes into one system. This includes driver incident, collision, and other performance indicators. It gives drivers clear, actionable steps to improve their behavior. While this is only one example, there are many great tools out there to help your drivers. This means being able to access data about driver behavior on and off the job site for your next project. That's your tech update for today.